let's start with the big play uh, that you made, the interception. Uh, turn that game around, and how did that feel? How did that feel on the sidelines as you guys started to come back? Um, you know, it gave us a lot of momentum on the sideline. It gave us a lot of, um, you know, enthusiasm to finish the game and finish strong. With where you guys are now, defensively, having had to go through the depletion that you guys have, can you talk about the importance of being able to step up and make plays like that? And I guess how the importance is even bigger now because you guys need those type of plays. I mean, it's, it's very important. You know, we have to come in and practice and, you know, finish plays like that. You know, we got to catch the ball at practice and do practice how you play. So it's very important to do everything you have to at practice. Had you guys practiced something like that before? Was there anything like that where, where you had a chance to tap house it? Well, you know, the coaches always express uh, catch the ball and finish, in, finish in the end zone. So, you know, every time I catch the ball, I run into the end zone. So it's just something I do, and, you know, it helps me work out for me in the game. I know you guys like to take it uh, one game at a time and focus on only the upcoming opponent. But when you look at the bigger picture of what you guys face, the fact that Seems like every week is a playoff for you guys. We know you're trying to get to the playoff, but but do you guys get that sense that hey, to get where we need to go, each week is a season unto itself? Well, you know, we just look at it one game at a time. You know, we're just looking at the next team up. So it's always important to keep make sure that team, make sure you take that team serious. What about the intensity level though? Game in, game out. Well, you know, we have a lot of intensity throughout the week. Uh, each and every game is important. You know, it's the next game up. Speaking of, you know, what do you see from a team like oh, Iowa State? You know, what are some of the problems they present? I mean, you know, they have uh, good players. They got good receivers, good big receivers. Um, offensive line, they block real well. You know, they're, they're veterans down there. And, you know, um, their running back and their quarterback is, uh, you know, a senior. So uh, you just, we just have to go out there and practice hard and read our keys and uh, create, create turnovers. Do you guys feel like you, you know, you went on the road last week, obviously, and, and they did what they did, and they came out with a ton of int intensity on the other side. Do you feel like you have that bullseye when you have to go on the road like you will again this week? Uh, you know, every road game is going to be tough. You know, um, Coach P is stressing enough that we have a five-game streak that's going to be, like, you know, a tough road game. So uh, every every team comes out with their best shot. Do you find yourself watching Trevon when you're on the field and, and having those moments where you're like, Oh my goodness! How did he do that? Oh yeah, you know we watch we watch the offense. We always behind our offense, but at the times sometimes we making corrections on the sideline um, for the defense. Did you get a chance to see the long run as it was happening? What went through your mind? Uh, I got the chance to see when he was when he was already gone. You know he was almost there. So I mean, you know it was a good play. You know, Derek, how much of a leadership role role have you had to take this year for the defense? Uh, you know, I have to play a big role uh, as being a leader. You know, uh, the only restart, turn the starter from last year, and um, we have a lot of young guys that had to step up due to injuries and things like that. So I mean, I feel like uh, it was my job to keep them calm, you know, and let them know how each and every week is going to go because they never really experienced this, experienced it like I have. In practice from just a couple of weeks ago when a lot of these young guys had to step in until now, have you seen a development with those guys and in the way they're doing things and handling things in practice? Oh, yes, sir. Of course, you know, uh, the game is really slowing down to them. You know, um, Montreal and Traven and Denzel, they're, they're all guys that have to step up. You know, um, the game is like really slowing down to them guys and they're making and you can tell that like they're making plays now. What about Ridwan? He's a guy who's stepped in recently and has been able to make some plays in a key one there. What, what have you seen from him? Uh, you know, I talk to him a lot, you know, uh, since he's my, he's on the other side of me. So I, I always communicate with him. And, um, you know, I just let him know that you just got to you just gotta calm down when you're out there. Don't don't be out of control and think with, the, with things you do. Mm -hmm. Has he impressed you at all from what he's been able to step in? And, oh, yeah. And he, yes, sir. He made a lot of plays. And, you know, there's, there's things we need to uh, help us move forward as a defense. That really was a thrilling comeback. What was the feeling like? <coughs> you know, we just we felt like we had confidence in what we can do. So, you know, um, the team never got down on one another. We, we, made, we went to halftime, we made adjustments, and we came out in the second half strong.